Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio and today we will learn how to animate our player. First, go to Animation window. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Animation. Now we want to choose object uh, that we will animate. And this will be our player. So select Player and click Create. This will automatically create animator animator controller and animation clip our first animation clip it will be idle so now you can see that our player has animator and has animator controller player and it's right here it was automatically created but uh, you can also mm, add animator like this here and you can add uh, or create an uh, animator controller here but if you do uh, this like I did it will create it automatically and it is faster a little bit so now we want uh, our sprites uh, for idle animation so select uh, sprites and move it to our idle animation. Now, if I press play, it will animate, but it is too fast. So I want to change speed of our animation. So go to animation and change our speed to 10 frames per second. Great, now it's much better, but if I move like this, uh, our idle animation is still running. Uh, we want uh, run animation when we are running, so close this and go to go uh, here and create new clip. It will be run. Okay, uh, here I want to add a uh, run sprites. I have it right here. Okay, and I will set speed to 10. You can also uh, uh, change time between each uh, sprite like this, but I will leave it. Uh, as it is so now if we go to our animator we see idle and uh, run animation uh, idle animation is our default uh, animation and it will play uh, automatically when we start our scene we can change the default animation by uh, right click to some animation and set as layer default state but we want our idle to be default so we want to uh, make transitions from idle to run and from run to idle uh, right click make transition to run and make transition to idle now click on transition and uncheck has exit time now uh, you can see transition needs at least one condition or exit time so we will use a condition go to uh, parameters and create a float you can also use int bool or or trigger but now we want float so we will create speed condition okay now let's add this to the uh, list speed and we want uh, to go from idle to run when our speed is greater than 0 0.1 and we want to make instant transition so we need transition 
So we don't need transition duration here and we don't need fixed duration. Uh, now we want to go from run to idle when uh, our speed is less than 0 0.1. Okay, uncheck this, uncheck this, we we'll change this to zero. Okay, now if I press play, still just our idle animation. And uh, that is because we need to um, change our speed somehow, or um, more correct, we need to uh, set something to be this speed so this will uh, this we will do in our script so go to uh, our script play, player controls and set up a reference type uh, variable animator let's call it animations or animation okay and now we want to uh, get co that component animation equals get component animator. Great, now I can use this animation and change this speed by script. And I will do, the, uh, do uh, this in fixed update. So our animation dot set float and we want to set our speed to this math I'm sorry math f dot absolute rb dot velocity dot x What uh, this uh, means, it means that uh, our speed, uh, our speed will change as our uh, velocity on x axis uh, changes. So if I go to right or left, uh, this will uh, give me absolute value, so we uh, don't have negative values, and it will change our speed. So now, if I press play, now our speed is less than uh, 0 0.1, and idle animation is running, and if I move, see it works our speed is uh, greater than uh, 0 0.1 this is all for today next time we will learn how to animate uh, our jump with a blend tree it will be fun thanks for watching uh, see you next week and don't forget to like share and subscribe